Hello, I'm JW. Uh, this time we've got these two items here. Now on the left there we've got the fire hood, which is first put over down lighters. And on the right we have a down lighter, which is uh, fire rated, so it has that metal can on the back. And we've seen both of these in a previous video, so I won't go into any particular detail about the items. And what we're going to do here is uh, see what happens when these things are actually exposed to fire. So in the centre there we've actually got a butane or gas uh, blow lamp there and it's fixed uh, underneath that uh, wooden surface with the flame nozzle just poking through. So I'll sort of have the flames coming out there and just place these items directly over the top. Now both of these items are supposed to prevent the fire from passing through so you would expect these to be both fire resistant and they both contain materials which are supposed to expand in the event of a fire so that it blocks over the ventilation holes. You see the holes on the side of the fire hood there and the metal can one has some holes in the side and the top as well. Now fires of course are something you don't want but uh, one important fact to consider when watching the rest of this is that uh, most deaths from fires actually occur due to the smoke as in people inhaling it rather than the actual flames themselves so uh, just bear that in mind whilst we watch the rest of this section. So I'll just light up the uh, flame there and it's fairly difficult to see here because uh, obviously it's the fairly bright sunlight but if I hold this piece of paper here you'll see that uh, pretty obviously there's uh, plenty of flames going on there. So uh, let's wait for the smoke to clear and then we'll just place the uh, fire hood over to start with and let's see what happens. Now straight away you can see there's that uh, darkening area on the top where the flame is going and uh, look at the colossal amount of smoke that's pouring off of the thing and so this is entirely due to the hood itself, there's no other source of anything else here and at least the flames are not going through but uh, this uh, massive billows of smoke is certainly concerning it's bearing in mind though the fire's not going through this smoke will be uh, spreading rapidly throughout the space in which this thing would be placed so let this go on for a few more minutes and let's see what happens. Well, the smoke has subsided a bit, and you can see that the upper corner and the top of that is now completely blackened but the flame still hasn't actually penetrated through the material so in that regard it's uh, obviously doing what it's supposed to do. Now the holes in the side haven't actually done anything yet because I think the flame is just basically in that upper left corner so we'll just reposition it so the flame actually goes onto the whole area on the side. So now the flame is actually acting directly on the back of the part with the holes in and you see a bit of fire is actually coming through the holes which is not really what you want to be happening and you can see the material is uh, slowly expanding around the edge of the top there. I'm just trying to relocate it a bit and you see now that we're going onto a part where the flame hasn't uh, impinged on before once again the colossal amount of smoke is pouring off. Oh <laughs> now we'll just move on to the uh, fire rated downlight and just as before the flame is actually there, you can see the paper and those white spaces are there primarily to provide a bit of air gap underneath because if you place this can directly over the actual nozzle then it basically puts out the flame straight away which is obviously not what we want. So just put the can on there and what should happen here is that those holes should basically fill in with the material as it heats to prevent the flames or whatever going through. Now as before there is a certain amount of smoke being given off there and you can see particularly on the top that the material is sort of expanding to fill up those holes. Now first bit's a problem there with the uh, thing not actually staying lit so we'll uh, attempt to get that uh, relit there. Sort of reposition that a bit so the uh, flame is more in the centre of the canister. And you see on the front side there that those holes have basically uh, started to fill up with the material which is expanding and you see there's a very little black particle of it uh, just dropping onto the surface below. And as with the fire hood there you see there's a fair bit of smoke coming out of that so though the flame is not coming through uh, all that smoke is certainly well and truly pouring out of the top and the side as well. Again, as the temperature increases the amount of smoke being given off also increases considerably 
And you see now that on the side and the top, the holes are pretty much uh, sealed in, so that will of stop any flames coming through there. Now let's go back to this uh, fire hood, and you see the part on the side there is the sort of material that's designed to expand, so just heat this directly with the flame and see what actually happens there. And you'll see that the uh, sort of stuff sort of bolts up and uh, turns to those sort of individual fibres, which are designed to seal those ventilation holes, which they are doing to a certain extent, though that one in the middle uh, certainly isn't sealing over at all well, uh, the edging ones certainly are. But you notice that as the uh, flame is continued there, the material tends to sort of turn to a fairly brittle stuff and fall away, leaving the holes fully exposed. Now if we actually heat the uh, material itself, causing the uh, side there to actually glow red hot, so it's certainly not uh, burning or whatever, so in that regard it's certainly uh, resisting the fire, but uh, whether those holes of course uh, would let the fire through or not is another matter. I mean the flame obviously is a bit more ferocious than a fire in a room, but on the other hand you would expect them to have sealed over the holes and uh, blocked it to prevent the flames going through, but uh, nevertheless the bag itself does seem to be fairly reasonably fire resistant. Although we're saying that, as we take the flame away, you see at the top left corner there, something is continuing to burn at the top there, so again, that's uh, not entirely sensible. Now let's just have a look at these after they've cooled for a considerable time. And here's the fire hood, and you see the interior is considerably blackened, but uh, nothing really going on, and the outside has this sort of brown discoloration. And it's gone fairly brittle, so we can actually poke uh, fingers and things right through it. Again, that's uh, not really an issue, as it obviously would have prevented the fire going through. And there's the side with the holes, and see so whatever that was has turned into this sort of expanded fibrous material, which is fairly brittle and uh, just turns to dust. And that's supposed to seal over those two ventilation holes to stop the flames going through. Now here's the can down lighter, and you can see the holes have it filled in with that uh, expanding material both on the top and the sides there. So in regard that's certainly done its job. And a bit difficult to see inside, but certainly it's well and truly sealed in there. And obviously the metal can would prevent the flames going through into the room above. But as with the fire hood, it gave off a colossal amount of smoke when doing that. And obviously that smoke would be spreading all over the building and uh, possibly causing people to breathe it in and be killed by it. So. Certainly not uh, what you would expect from that sort of thing. So fire rated probably, but certainly uh, not smoke resistant. So that's the two things there, and uh, certainly they prevented the fire going through, but the uh, real question is whether all of that smoke pouring off is really supposed to happen, and even if it is, then it really it's not the ideal thing, because of course smoke is something which is extremely dangerous, and uh, huge amounts of smoke spilling through the building is just as capable of killing people as the flames themselves. So until next time, thanks for watching.